what's worse than losing is being stagnant where you can see your win right over the horizon and you can't get there. Do not have yourself bogged down because of one moment and you know that you know that you know that you know in your heart of hearts and in your man brain, this shit ain't gonna work. Stop trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. We're gonna slide over here to this video um, with Kevin Samuels. And it's short, it's sweet, and to the point. And the brother just, he just nailed it. Again, it happens to the best of us. We all have simp. One of the worst things we can do as men is to be with women who don't want us. I've been in that position too. I have simped. I have been, I have done stuff. I've tried to, I've been in the friend zone. I've done all that kind of stuff. And I will tell you, gentlemen, don't do it. Never do that. It's never a good idea. I said at two weeks old, stop trying to win women over. And see, that's the beautiful thing about becoming a high value man. You don't have to win women over. You deal with the women who show interest in you and want to get on your program and a Pause it right there. What did the pimp just say? Deal with who likes you, not who you like. So for the brothers out there listening, when you have a chick, she may not be that dime piece. Especially this. Oftentimes when we break up with women, the only thing we got left to say is, at least I fucked. Sounds vulgar, sounds nasty, sounds evil. But really when you sit down and you chew on that for a minute, that's really all you got to say. Even in times where it's like, well, we had kids together and things like that, you were building her up. You were setting her up financially, even when the breakup occurs. So a lot of times we just leave them with whatever possessions we have and our dick in our hand. And gotta go out here and do it again. But you heard what the pimp said. Now you're hearing what the goat is saying. Don't do that. You matter. That is the worst position to put yourself in. I'm gonna keep letting it run proving their worth to you. You had to work to become a high value man. You don't have to work for a woman. A woman has to work for your last name. She has to work for your ring. She has to work for your commitment. This is the game because we grew up in Disney and told, I mean, we were told that it was us that needed to do the other. That's why they hate these channels. They hate the channels where we start telling men, no, 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 no. If you have made yourself in the top 20%, top 10% of men, the rules are different for you. Hand down, man down. Mama, there goes that man. Bring it back on myself real quick. The rules are different. And I'm going to pivot and bring it down a notch. It may you not you may not be that high value man. But you're a solid ass man. You're a man of value. I keep saying it. You're a man of value. You're a man of means. Look at how financially how much you've poured into this woman and her kids in the situation and stuff like that. Because the majority of women have kids. That's why I keep bringing it up. Look at what you've done for her. Where would you be had you not spent that money on her? Where would you be at? Because in your mind, you're thinking, oh, I'm doing this for us. As men, we tend to think of family. With women, they tend to think of motherhood or self. So it's a, it's okay to be a little bit selfish and do things for yourself, bro. Stack up something, have some money for a rainy day, especially if you are in these uh, relationships where there's a lot of friction going on and you can kind of see the writing on the wall. It's okay to leave. When me and my ex broke up a couple years ago, I put her out of my house. I didn't have to pack up and leave. She did. And guess what? She left quick. When I told her she had to go, that was 12 p.m. I was at work. I was able to see her packing up her shit and leaving on my on my house camera. Told her to leave at 12. She was out of this bitch by two, which lets me know two things. She was already preparing for that or she already had a plan B with another dude. She was gone real quick. I don't know. We haven't spoken in two two years now. So when it's done, it's done. And like I tell brothers all the time, with these women, when you're together, you're together. When you're not, you're not. If you're in a committed relationship, marriage, I'm not advocating going out there cheating or even exercising options. 
what I am telling you to do is not to forget yourself. You're in the relationship too. We always hear what it takes to, whether it's a baby or a relationship and things didn't go right, it takes two. We always hear that when the man has a complaint, but they don't like hearing it takes two when we got to point out the bullshit that they was on. Don't forget yourself, fellas. You got to be able to build, have a woman that comes in that's on your program. And yes, go down in looks to go up in cooperation because those looks will get you fucked up. That's that woman that'll cry, complain, say you did something to her, say you was unfair. God forbid you guys take take the law off the table where's my take the law off the table let you have the same friend circle now your homeboys that are with her friends stop calling you y'all can't kick it no more their relationships start taking hits because she putting pressure on her man to not chill with you because your shit didn't work out leave yourself out leave yourself a solid found build yourself a solid foundation you can build the the house, the the kids, the wife, the uh, picket fence, all that American dream stuff, you can build that. I'm not telling you not to. What I am telling you to do is if that falls, you need to be able to pivot over and still stand on your own. I see I got a comment come in. Let me slide over here real quick to the comments and we gonna keep on, keep on rolling. Sean from the Shy. You go girl. Says, Good evening, Kofa. Glad to be with you here this evening. Chat, salute. Appreciate you, sis. Quiet storm in the building. Hand down, man down. Mama, there goes that man. Quiet storm says, women will use you for your seed and wallets, then treat you as a monthly ATM when that child support kick in. No thanks. I'm good. Where's my damn passport? Got it! It's hotter than fish grease. No lies told. Brothers, give yourself options, man. I was just having a conversation with one of my partners. He came out of a country town, um, not the best situation with the family. I came out of a country town. I had a better home life, but I couldn't get stuck in that country ass town. And my dad kept telling me back then, and even though I didn't really understand it as a high schooler, but he was telling me, don't get nobody pregnant. Remix it to this YouTube space, protect your seed. Don't get so locked in where you're standing in this same spot. And what's worse than losing is being stagnant where you can see your win right over the horizon and you can't get there. And you can't get there because of you. Everybody has different talents. Everybody has different skills. There's different um, paychecks out here you can get. Mine was through the military and federal service, but it started with the military. Then I was able to pivot over to federal service. Kofa now at 41 is taking care of retired Kofa when that day comes. Inshallah, God willing, I'll make it to that age and I can still keep living. But right now in this space, gentlemen, I showed y'all the numbers a couple of weeks ago. Black men's age range has dropped down to 66. We supposed to be gone at 66. So I don't even know where I'm at. I'm past middle age, if that's the case. But I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Keep yourself in shape. Another brother posted something on Facebook. I'm going to get back to the, to the videos real quick. But another brother posted something on Facebook where he showed um, his health checkup. He was like, brothers, please go get your annual, annual checkup. Brother, I know I hopped in the comments. I was like, in addition to, and I think I've said this here, you work every day. You've been working for a minute. You have health insurance. They take money out of your check every month for health insurance. Stop waiting for an annual checkup. Go get a quarterly checkup. You don't want to wait an annual checkup, then go back the next year and find out that you didn't have cancer for the last six months when you could have caught it earlier. Go quarterly. That's just another Kofaism. If you're gonna pay the money, use that shit. Pay that little $25, $50 copay or whatever if you have one. If you have the opportunity, again, if you're taking care of yourself, act as if you have a family. Get the highest insurance you can for yourself. Because trust me, I have a kid. I have a child, excuse me. Kids are little sheep i have a child so when you add on yourself plus one some insurance are going to go from self just to family and when it comes to family insurance they're taking more out of your check this is just a way to hustle so if you're going to have the insurance and use it 
make sure you have the highest options for sale for those single guys out there with no kids, which I know the majority of men are. So, so hope this lands somewhere in somebody's ears and somebody's brain within a shout of my voice. Just trust me. Add the highest insurance because you don't know what's going to happen. Luckily, I had it when I had my car accidents and things like that. Your boy done been through stuff. Again, I tell y'all periodic stories here and there. But because I had that high option, I was able to get the treatment I needed when I went through that car accident, right? Only reason I used the high option is because I did have a child. I know a lot of friends that didn't accept the high option. They just stuck with the basic stuff and their medical bills were still high as hell simply because they didn't check a different block on their insurance they're going to take the money one way or other and again the high option for yourself is still going to be lower than the family option treat yourself better gentlemen let me slide back over to the comments sean says that's uh da, 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 where i'm good oh sean says that's some silliness people have the right to have friendships my man is just that my man not my kid to be directing women need to let men be men you go, girl. I'm a lay. Salute to Sean. I don't know too many men that are trying to step in the shoes or the dress of a woman. A man, not an adult male. Appreciate that, Sean. Sean also says, I saw a brother trying to pick up his kid, child, <laughs> and the mother's on bullshit because she's not with him anymore. I'm tired of women using children for their hurt feelings. Facts. I'll give you another quick story myself. I went to go pick up my daughter when she came to stay with me. I had her for all of high school. I went to check her out one day. She had a doctor's appointment, right? I get in there and the lady's looking at me. I've been in there a couple of times. I've checked her out before. Well, I have to make sure that you're on the list. What do you mean you got to check if I'm on the list? Ma'am, you've seen me like two or three times. Plus, I'm the one that registered her for class, for school. She lives with me. So I'm sitting there waiting for her to check the computer and stuff another dad walks in i cannot make this shit up i'm not yeah this you can't make this shit up people you cannot make this shit up another dad walks in while i'm sitting there waiting while she's checking he wants to check out so-and-so his child same exact situation sir i need to check the computer he's like ma'am i registered her for school this year she lives with me same situation and he looked over at me i guess he was kind of embarrassed he looked over at me i was like bro have a seat i'm waiting on the same exact thing he came and sat down he was like bro you bullshit i was like no i just she's literally checking the computer right now when you walked in she's checking my name and i registered my child you can't make this shit up you can't because people are socialized this is why i talk about the socialization process from so hot from so young i mean knee high to a grasshopper like i always say growing up we got it but society has picked this up too and when i say society i'm really talking about women most people in their in their mind only think mother and child they're not thinking father and child we hear this on the internet on socials all the time y'all broke y'all dusty y'all can't do nothing that's why y'all want certain types of women xyz it's a bunch of bullshit brothers you know the solid shit you have been able to accomplish but again these are the ills that we still have to fight and i've seen many a men broken because they can't see their child slide back over to the comments quiet storm says the amount of paternity fraud is rising year after year these women are playing dumb and straight up lying but trying to pin kids on guys they never met get the dns get the dna test it's not optional she's gonna be mad got it it's hotter than fish grease she's gonna be mad let her ass be mad you would you rather her be mad for however long she's gonna be mad or you want to start looking crazy in a couple of years when that child start not looking like you acting like you say oh mama mama said i got another daddy trust me we done been through some shit and it's broken men down but again we all have simp and fell short of the glory of God. Get the DNA test. Sean says, always get a checkup twice a year. Your health is a gift. Big facts. 
Sean says that's disrespectful. Fathers are responsible for children as well. I work in education and I respect both parents. It takes both of you. It takes both. Again, it takes two until mama decide that it don't and she can do it by herself. And then when that don't work out, find the nearest man to blame or in the black community, the idea of white supremacy. We'll go ahead, slide over to the next KS video. Let his brother tell, tell a simple story. He just told you not to be a simp. Now he's going to tell you why. <laughs> 